we are discussing talking sharing different ways to make your perfume last longer now why would you not want your perfume to last all day all night through whatever you're doing and making the most of the money you paid to purchase it so this topic is very important because if you're storing your perfume wrongly if you're putting it on the wrong way if you're not making the most of it you're basically wasting your perfume so wasting your money and that's not what we're about here the first point really is the stronger the concentration of the perfume you buy the longer it will last if you buy a pure parfum it will be more concentrated than a cologne or an eau de toilette version of the same perfume obviously the parfum with higher oils and concentration is going to cost more than the eau de toilettes and the cologne versions of the same perfume if it's high in concentration you can get away with one to two sprays without it giving you a headache or you know irritating other people around you but if it's an auto toilet cologne or anything of less concentration you, you can obviously spray a lot more and this is usually found in body sprays you know they're light in concentration so you can spray a lot more on your body and they still don't last for very long but you know the more you spray the better and you still have to retouch throughout the day because of less concentration less oils so body sprays usually kind of look like this they don't always come in this type of packaging but this is a popular one from you know bath and body works um, but if you go to a drugstore anywhere really you will find different types of body sprays body mists is also another word for them fine mists fragrance mists they have a light concentration. These work perfectly straight out of the shower. You know, you've dried your skin, but your body's still hot. You, you still have steam coming off your body and you just spray this. I know people say dry yourself, wait a while and then spray. No. As soon as you get out of the shower, sometimes even while you're still wet, if you plan on air drying your body, you spray so that it dries along with the water. Otherwise, you can just pat dry your body, spray these right away while your body's still very warm after the shower, moisturize on top and then spray again because that's what I do and it works the best. And even though they're not that concentrated, but you will wear it like that and it will last almost all day and whatever you're wearing your clothes will end up smelling like whatever body mist that's how i make the most out of my body mist okay now this is an extract perfume it has higher concentration of perfume oils as compared to the eau de parfum version of the same perfume high in concentration low in concentration high in concentration lower in concentration it makes the most out of your fragrances if you use the same body wash that is the same scent as the body spray you're about to spray that is the same body spray as the body lotion you're about to put on and the main fragrance you're gonna wear for the day they all need to mesh they all need to be in the same category of perfumes so for example if I want to wear a clean scent that day then I will choose a shower gel that goes with that. I will choose a body spray that goes with that, a body lotion that goes with that. And obviously I will know that this perfume will go with the whole process I started since I showered. So for example, I will have shower gel that has like shea butter, you know, smelling creamy and something like that. I will dry my body spray this while my body is still steaming hot and then i will put the matching um body lotion over the top the body lotions are less concentration compared to body creams and everything else so um, i always start with this or end with it sometimes you know i just mix and match i just yeah 
whatever is working for me if my skin is extra dry instead of using this body lotion i will use something like this body cream i used to use the other flavor of the boom boom cream but i prefer this smell better to the yellow bottle i don't know it just made me sick actually i didn't even finish i had the largest size and i didn't finish that one i ended up throwing it in the bin because i'd had it so long and you know because it was open i had to throw it out because i didn't know whether it was still okay to use it was it was a scent that i didn't want to keep and i didn't wear it so i threw it out this is also a repurchase so now i'll layer this over the top because on a hot day it's enough to use this lotion but sometimes I'm extra dry so I'll wear this and these three scents are all basically similar this has this um, chilled tangerine creamy marshmallow shea butter um, type of smell you know which is similar to this creamy and sweet and fruity like orangey tangerine smelling so they all go together then on that day i know that for fragrance for perfume i have to pick something bright you know fruity and creamy and nice so i would either wear something like miami glow by jlo or amour sunshine i could wear anything with base notes that are matching to all the fragrances that i just used all morning so i hope that's making sense like i'm a bit extra of course you don't have to be as extreme as me and i have body oils as well i wish i brought them here that i layer depending on how dry i am when it's hot outside i don't typically wear a body oil because my body oils i want them to be heavy i need to buy some lighter body oils i think but I tend to wear body oils an hour or two before I go to bed and then I put a moisturizer over the top so that you know it's not direct oil and my clothes on not like that I hope that makes sense normally when when I just showered I spray the body mist then I put in a body cream then I put on a um, body oil then I spray again whatever I want to spray that way I'm nicely hydrated and I'm smelling nice for bed so that's just on my skin and not even on my clothes um, sometimes I don't wear fragrance on my clothes because if it's something I'm gonna wear again tomorrow especially things like jackets and coats I don't spray my jackets or coats because I'm not gonna get them dry cleaned every time I wear them no sometimes I have to repeat the coat I can't have the same fragrance on my coat you know there are pulse points that are really good for you to spray on so that's where your heartbeat is all that technical stuff but just behind your ears here down your neck near your clavicle um, your wrists your behind your knees um, so many areas anyway just google where you can spray there but what happens is when you spray perfume it's nice to spray in the inside of your arm as well when you spray perfume and you're outside it's going to evaporate the molecules are going to evaporate so that's why perfume can't always last all day and it's easier for oils to stick better on the skin on moisturized skin on very moisturized skin um, but when you're out and about you know the perfume molecules are going to evaporate don't feel bad if you have to respray sometimes especially on your skin also you're washing your hands you know you've got your nicely scented you know um, body cream and you're washing your hands before you know it your hands don't smell that good no more they just smell like alcohol rub and um, also if you've sprayed here obviously you dab you don't rub oh don't do that you spray once and you need to be about five to seven inches away from your body so you spray and if you have to if you have to you can dab otherwise just spray here and spray there and leave it alone spray here spray there leave it alone okay and you can spray the parts that 
have the most body heat that produce the most body heat so inside your thighs um, inside the, the wrist of your arms just there um, the back of your neck between your cleavage you know all the places that there's most friction too because then your perfume will have more sound it will have more sillage or every time you move you know the smell will come out anyway it's also great for you to spray your hairbrush and brush your hair but there are hair mists to use um other people do too much with the whole carry cotton buds with perfume and put in a little plastic bag put in your handbag and why not just buy a little bottle you know of your favorite perfume and carry that around instead of cotton buds and all the rest oh no 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 <laughs> So there's that and you know when you go try perfumes in the chemist wherever store just spray that piece of paper carry all those samples put them in a handbag put them in your wardrobe somewhere in the corner of your wardrobe and all your clothes will just you know attract all those perfume molecules and your clothes will smell good as well keep a nice clean house your scents will you know uh, project more you know if you've got candles if you've got wallflowers going all the time if you've got room mists perfume for sheets and, and stuff like that curtains so just surround yourself with beautifully smelling things and you will smell good too because believe it or not your blood your skin is absorbing the scents that are in the air so and when you're eating spices certain spices they give you an order that's why i say drink enough water you know exercising um being clean having showering regularly looking after all those things you know your, your um, deodorant is so important now there must be something wrong with your body chemistry if you're having an order when you sweat because sweat itself should not have an order but the the body moisturizer or the oil you had on top will add an order to your sweat if you're healthy and everything's working normal you shouldn't have an order to your sweat that's another thing know the type of perfume you're dealing with perfumes that have an oriental base you know so ambery perfumes or patchouli scents spicier scents they tend to last longer on the skin layering is great to get high concentration perfumes but it's very good to be mindful of how concentrated your perfume is so you know how much to spray because you don't live in a bubble so you have other people around you to be mindful of. if you can no longer smell the perfume on yourself most times than not it's because your brain has already registered the smell of the perfume so it doesn't recognize it anymore it's it's gotten used to it so you can't smell it on yourself but other people can smell you don't keep spraying 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 because you can't smell yourself anymore you know just ask other people around you can you can you smell me because i do that <laughs> like i i'm sure i smell good but why can't i smell myself anymore most people are like someone smells good and i don't say anything because i'm thinking oh it mustn't be me because my perfume has probably worn off they're like oh it's you and i'm like is it is it me even though i know it's me it can't be them because i can't smell them but i wasn't sure if my perfume was still on me you know do not be afraid to carry a decant of your favorite perfume to respray throughout the day because it's very normal for perfume to evaporate or for it to lose its strength throughout the day if it's not a higher concentrated oil for example then that's to be expected try not to spray on your clothes because one they might stain um, it's better for you to get acquainted with spraying on your skin more um, and obviously the areas on your skin that are exposed 
then you spray those because people will be able to smell you more directly but the more exposed the area of skin is the more chance of the heat evaporating the perfume molecules yeah and spray near your neck if you want to smell the perfume yourself as well otherwise spray inside your wrists you know your thighs and all those other juicy places so other people can enjoy the perfume on your body and it's always sexier to spray more intimately I think unless the perfume is designed to have a loud sillage but it's not all the time that I think is elegant to to walk in and smell like you bathed in the perfume like I don't think that's attractive I like that wait oh, oh you know and someone's trying to <laughs> figure out like wow this girl so does this girl always smell this good and certain fabrics hold perfumes better if you intend on spraying on your clothes you know give it a bit of a distance spray five to seven inches away from your your shirt or your clothing that way one less chance of it staining and two it works better that way you might be wanting to get really creative and spray your bra your underwear whether you're a guy or girl Go ahead and do that. There is nothing wrong with spraying your undergarments. Just don't spray in the areas where you could have a reaction. And then you start sweating in those areas and it mixes with your perfume and that's not a good thing. When you're clean and fresh, that's the best time to spray perfume or spray scented products or apply scented products, okay? That's all I'm gonna say about this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you have not already. Let me know what you think in the comment section and I will see you in the next video. Take care, bye.